Hello, I'm Pastor Doug of First Lutheran Church in South Sioux City, Nebraska, and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. The events over the last couple days have been disturbing. I'm sure most of you have seen it by now. I didn't even know about the events when they first took place. I was busy in my office working on sermons and working on other things to proclaim the Word of God to others. The attack on the Capitol was uncalled for. Any riots are uncalled for. The riots over the summer, the riots now. Any use of riots for political means is uncalled for, whether they were over the summer, in the past, or now. Any inciting of violence is uncalled for. To have difference of opinions is okay. God created us all to be unique. We were not created as a bunch of lemmings, but we were created to be unique through God's hands. To protest, and as a Lutheran, a Protestant, we came out of protesting. To protest is fine. To make your point known, your sides to be known, is absolutely fine. But we need to be able to have all sides to be heard. It doesn't matter whether you're far left, you're far right, you're in between, whether you're a Republican or Democrat, Black Lives Matter, Antifa, socialism, all these things need to be heard. God created us unique to be able to share our uniqueness with one another. If we were all created as lemmings, we'd be really easy to knock down. At this point, we're pretty easy to knock down because we are so divided. It's easy to pick and find a weakness. But we are much stronger by coming together as one. In our uniqueness, in our differences, to actually listen, to actually hear one another. I don't care where somebody is red or blue. I don't care if somebody is white, brown, yellow, black. None of that makes a difference because God created us in each of those. This division has been growing and growing and growing. And it hasn't been just in the last year or four years or five years. This has been going on worse and worse over years. I first recall a total division within politics starting about the time that Bill Clinton was elected president. I had a good friend of mine whose Email address was anyone but BC. That is not how we engage to be able to have conversation, to be able to hear from one another. When we listen, it's not about listening to persuade somebody to our way of thinking. It's about listening to understand where the other person is coming from. When I was in seminary, we were never told exactly what to think. We were taught how to think and how to listen. When it comes to theology, we have people that have a, a range of theologies, but it is a matter of backing your theology up, systematic theology, of backing up your theology from what you read in the Bible. But nowadays, when we do that, we beat each other up too. Going back to the politics, the problems of today that we are experiencing this week, my experience has been, and I'm sure I am not alone, because I've talked to others who feel this way, but I'm sure you may have felt this way, that if you do not agree with somebody, you are belittled. You're not allowed to have an opinion. 
I have not felt safe expressing my opinions. And I'm sure there are many others who have not felt safe either. We need to be able to listen and care, not for the sake of persuading, but for the sake of understanding, of walking with our neighbor who may have different political biases from us, who may have different color skin than us, who may have a different theology or a different religion from us. But we need to be able to listen so that we can understand where they're coming from, so that we can walk with them and be good neighbors. Jesus was asked, what is the greatest commandment? And instead of giving one, he said, love your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul. And the second, love your neighbor as yourself. We're not doing those. But Jesus, before he ascended into heaven, gave us a new commandment. A new commandment through which he fulfilled all the law in the first place, but this commandment that he gave us, a new commandment he gave us, to love one another as he first loved us. The news in front of us is not loving. The news that's been going on for years is not loving. It's time to put our differences aside, walk with one another, listen to one another, and in that we can love one another. Rioting, hurting, burning, stealing, you name it, none of those are right. But somebody who is not even religious knows that those things are not right. Let us care for one another through love. Walk with one another through love. Listen to one another through love. Understand one another through love. Not through persuasion, not through political means. As we go throughout the rest of the transition into this new presidency, let's embrace the possibility of healing. God is always active in the world, no matter what. And I pray that God's activity will be shown even in all of this chaos that we have seen. God can take all of this and use it for something good. And God will in Jesus. God will in the gospel. All we have to do is be willing, willing to be experiencing what God has in mind for us. I lift this up through the Son, a God who came down, put on human flesh, and said, I give you a new commandment. Love one another as I first loved you. In his name, Jesus the Christ. Amen.